Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia and this is Amelia Budgets and thank you so much for tuning in. I post new budgeting related videos twice every week. That's usually on Mondays and then again on Fridays. So if that is content that sounds like something that you might be interested in, I would love it if you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can get notified for when I post new videos. It really, really helps out my channel. So anyways, yeah, today I am filming. Um, this is actually coming to be one of my more like my favorite videos of the month. Um, I really like doing these cash stuffing videos, even though I'm not really a cash stuffer because I don't use cash for anything. But yeah, this is my monthly cash stuffing for my sinking funds and my savings video. So yeah, today I am actually stuffing a total of $515. You can see that based on the title. And that is a combination of my sinking funds and also one month ahead savings. So I'm actually going to put this binder to the side away for now because I always do that second and that's my one month ahead but I'm going to start with my sinking fund video so I actually got quite a few comments from people telling me that I shouldn't um like I should take all of the money from these sinking funds and put them in the bank just to sort of like tide me over and I was thinking about doing that what I did actually end up doing though was taking a bit of money from my emergency fund and just transferring it into my checking account just so that I would have a bit of a buffer I actually ended up transferring all of that money back I do genuinely think I'm going to be able to very comfortably get to the end of March before my first paycheck I mean I take that back it's not comfortably but I am going to get back to it but I just really personally like having this money separate because I'm not tempted to spend it and it's hard to explain for anybody to anybody who like might not have like spending issues <laughs> but having this in cash makes it almost like it's not there and I also did get a very like accurate and correct comment being like you used to have a $1,500 buffer and you weren't tempted to spend that and you're right but I wasn't tempted to spend that sort of because I knew that was almost like my rent money so I was like I was never in the position financially where I'd spend my rent money I would spend money I didn't have on my credit cards but I would never worry about spending my rent so anyways finances are weird you guys like that's why they always say like personal finance is personal but just like people's relationship to money is weird so I honestly I appreciate every single comment that I get about this kind of stuff but and any suggestion but ultimately I'm going to do what I think is best for me and I mean there's been a lot of suggestions and pieces of advice that people have given me and I've taken but I don't I, I, I don't like it when or I don't, it's not that I don't like it it's just like I feel bad when someone leaves a comment that's like super logical and I'm like that's super logical I'm not actually going to do that and then they respond back being like why the heck not and it's like I'm not trying to argue with you I'm just telling you that's just probably not what I'm going to do and it's not that I don't think that what you're saying is accurate because it is if I was me I would tell me that same or like if not sorry that didn't make any sense but if I was giving advice to like one of my friends I would probably listen to all of what my subscribers are telling me or all the comments are telling me but ultimately I just have to do what works best for me if that makes any sense but anyways today is my sinking fund video <laughs> so I have my bank envelope at the back here which honestly I've been loving and then also you can see here I got a new cash stuffing tray or I didn't get it I made it so I am like the least creative or like crafty person ever when it comes to like certain things I'm very good at the cricket, but with when it comes to this kind of stuff, like clearly this is not very good, but it is going to work for what I need. And it literally cost me no money because I got a piece of cardboard from my grocery store because like my grocery store had boxes. And then this like white thing is actually shelf liner that I had from a long, long time ago. So it literally cost me nothing. Um, and that's why I wanted it. And it's just going to help me when I'm doing these videos, stuff my cash a little bit easier, especially because like picking up cash on like this background that I have or this background that I have, sorry, you can't really see it, um, is kind of hard. <laughs> but anyways, let's start. So I have $515 that I'm stuffing today. So I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 there and then I have 5, 10, 15 which is perfect and I am definitely going to have to do some sort of bill swapping this time because I took out all hundreds and I don't 
<laughs> that's not gonna work. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna do some bill swapping. But anyways, let's get started. So the first thing that I have is savings. So when I set up my March savings, I did mention that I'm actually only stuffing $30, or sorry, not 30, $20 per week for three weeks into this savings. I think I left a bill in there. Yes, I did. Um, into this category. So the last Friday of March is actually gonna be from my paycheck from my new job. So I'm only stuffing three weeks in here. So in case you've never watched any of these videos before, um, this is a new envelope for me this year. I decided that I wanted to start like doing dedicated savings. So this savings is $20 per Friday for the entire year, which will give me over $1,000 by the end of the year. So in that envelope right now, I have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 160, and I need to add $60. And obviously like I don't have $60, but if this is 160 and I need to add 60, that would make a total of 220. So yeah, 160 plus 60 is 220. So what I'm gonna do is put all of this back like here, and then I'm gonna take 220, which should be good. So like 100, 220 which will give me the total that I need in this savings. I don't know why I closed this envelope. I'm sorry, <laughs> This these sort of envelopes that like actually close are new to me. I didn't have these last year. I love them so much though. It keeps my sinking funds so much more organized. So anyways, yeah, that is it for savings. Next I have gifts. Um, and just as like a bit of a disclosure, I mentioned in my new March budget video that I was only gonna be stuffing high priority sinking funds this month. And for me, gifts is a high priority. <laughs> Again, I know that some people are gonna disagree with that decision, but honestly, it's just, it's the truth. Gifts are a high priority for me. So gifts is getting $50. So I'm actually gonna take 100 and then I'm gonna pay myself back one of the 50s. So that means gifts now has 20, or not 20, 100, $250, which again, for me is really, really nice. I did very much overspend on gifts this year. I have actually had to spend any gift money this year which is cool <laughs> but eventually I will and I'm glad I have this so yeah gifts has 250 next I have Christmas and again Christmas for me is a high priority and again I'm sure other people would disagree but I I want to be able to prior I want to prioritize this so that I don't go over so Christmas is getting $100 so Christmas now has 100 200 300 dollars which again is awesome. The fact that like it's March and I have $300 saved for Christmas of next year is just like so good. And I'm so happy that I've been doing that. So yeah, Christmas is good. Next I have electronics. Electronics is not getting stuffed. And in case you missed my debt overview video, this envelope now actually only has $20 in it. It used to have 125, but I took $105 out of this sinking fund at the suggestion of one of my subscribers. Um, they had just basically said like look like you're not going to be buying a laptop anytime soon why don't you take some of this money and put it into um, an extra debt payment which I thought was like such a good idea and it was a great timing too because I otherwise wouldn't have been able to put any extra debt um, payments in the month of February for like my March debt overview so yeah electronics only has 20 and it's not a high priority and I'm not stuffing that now next I have personal care and personal care, I believe, has $50 in it now. So it has 20, 40, 45, 50. Yeah. Um, and I'm not actually stuffing this. So that's again not a high priority for me. $50 is actually enough to get my hair cut, um, which I won't need to do for another couple months. But yeah, personal care is done. Um, next, I have car maintenance, and car maintenance is getting stuffed. Um, that is a high priority. I would like to ideally have around $2,000 into this car maintenance sinking fund. So car maintenance is getting $50. So I'm actually going to take one of these hundreds and pay myself back one of the 50s just so that I've got some smaller bills. Um, so anyways, car maintenance now has 100, 150, 170, 190, which again, awesome. Coming along very well. Um, and again, just to note for anybody who might not have watched any of my videos in the past, I do actually have about $1,000 more technically in car maintenance. It's not really car maintenance because it's specifically for new tires that I'm going to be buying in the next month or so. So yeah, that's separate though. I don't keep that in cash. So anyways, that is it for car maintenance. Next, I have subscriptions and subscriptions is getting stuffed. So for me, the only annual subscriptions that I actually have is for Amazon Prime. 
And Amazon Prime is roughly $90 for the year, which works out to about $7.50 a month. So I don't like stuffing change in these. So what I do is I stuff $5 one month and $10 the next. I stuffed $10 last month, so I'm going to stuff $5 this month. So subscriptions now has $20, $40, $65, which again, very nice. That subscription for me renews in June. So yeah, that is it for subscriptions. Household is getting skipped. I did take a lot of money out of my household sinking fund last month, but that's okay. That's what it's there for. So house, household now only has five, 10, $15, but again, that's fine. So yeah, that's just something to note. I'm not stuffing it because it's not a priority. So that's it for household. Um, and then YouTube, YouTube also is not getting stuffed as that is not a priority for me right now. Um, that being said though, I am almost at a thousand subscribers, which is awesome. So thank you guys so much for that. But yeah, YouTube has five, 10, 15, $25. Um, I might have to end up coming back and taking that and making a swap, but we'll see. Um, I'm gonna try not to, but yeah, YouTube, I really want to save up for a ring light. I had been wanting to save up for a microphone, but to be perfectly honest, I think that the issue was that my old phone didn't have a very good microphone on it. Like it was just an older phone because when I listen back to one of my videos, like when I watch it to like check for stuff, <laughs> um, I don't see any difference really between my sound and like a lot of sound from like a lot of other videos so I don't know if like the comments that I were getting that my sound was really bad was it because I was using my old phone or if my sound quality is still really bad now so if you guys could just let me know in the comments below if you have a problem hearing my videos like when I'm doing this in comparison to other videos I would really appreciate that but yeah I really do want to save up for a ring light because I would love to be able to film videos in the evening and not just be able to have to film them during the day but anyways, yeah, that's it for YouTube. It's not getting stuffed. And then I have bank, which is done. So that is it for this binder. So I'm going to put this one away and I'm going to grab my one month ahead binder. So for my one month ahead binder, what I had initially told you all was that I wanted to stuff my binder from the highest amount to the lowest amount. So that would mean that I'd be stuffing my rent. So my rent is $1,200. I wanted to fully stuff rent and then go down. I changed my mind. <laughs> I don't want to do that anymore. I want to start stuffing like lowest to highest because I think it'll just be a little bit more um, satisfying for me to have more of these envelopes actually stuffed. So I'm actually going to unstuff this rent and then stuff it into like the lower ones. But before I do that, I want to quickly just double check that this is $250 because it should be. And I want to make sure that I didn't maybe mess up with the like the bill swap. So I have 50, 100, 150. Then I have 20, 40, 60, 80. So that's 150 plus 80 is 230. Then this is 240 and 245, 250. Okay, perfect. I just, sorry, I just wanted to double check that before I moved on. So anyways, as I mentioned, I'm gonna unstuff my rent and I'm gonna start stuffing from lowest to highest. So I believe there was $150 left in my rent, which there was 100, 120, 140, 150. So I'm just gonna add this back in here so that I've got this all set up and let's stuff from lowest to highest. So my lowest amount in my sinking funds or not my sinking funds, sorry, my um, one month ahead binder is my subscriptions. So I need $15 for my one month ahead um, binder for subscriptions because I really only have a Netflix account and an iCloud subscription, which actually is like $14, but I'm just rounding to 15. So yeah, now that subscription envelope is done. <laughs> um, my next lowest bill is actually my tenant's insurance. So my tenant's insurance costs me $25 a month, so I can definitely stuff that. So let's take this. So tenant's insurance is done with 25. Perfect. Awesome. Um, next, I have my, I think my phone bill is next. So my phone bill is $59 a month. So I'm not going to be stuffing 59. I'm going to be stuffing 60. So I have 20, 40, $60 for my phone bill. And that is great. And then my next bill I have is my internet. And my internet is $60 a month. 
exactly. Well, I mean, it's not exactly, it just rounds to 60 because I don't include change on my bills. So let's take 50 and 60. I am worried I'm going to not have the correct denominations, but let's hope. So that's good for internet. Um, next I have utilities. So that's my hydro. So I stuff $70 a month for hydro. That is relatively high for me in the winter, but that is pretty good for the summer because utilities for me is electricity and electricity gas actually heats my house so i don't have to worry about that because that's included in my rent but in the winter time or not the winter in the summertime when i have my air conditioning on that uses electricity so that's for utilities so that means 70 dollars which is good and again i might actually have to up that later on if like bills go up in the winter i don't know how that stuff is going to be soon because prices for everything are <laughs> going up but anyways yeah that's it for utilities next i have my car insurance is next and that's 120 dollars, so that's good there actually yeah I'm, I'm shocked i actually was able to do that like with my denominations that worked out perfectly which is great so that's it for car insurance and then finally i only have 50 dollars left so technically that doesn't fill anything else and if you're going from lowest to highest technically the next lowest in my this binder would actually be gas because in a five weekend month for gas I would need um, five times 40 so $200 so technically this is next but gas and groceries I'm stuffing last which is why I made like their backgrounds in gray I'm going to stuff debt because I know that if I were to actually be in the situation to actually need this one month ahead binder I would not be spending as much money on groceries and gas so I'm going to stuff this $50 towards my debt I actually need $405 to stuff this debt um, binder fully or this debt envelope fully but for now <laughs> I'm going to stuff 50 and then that will be my priority to try to get this up to 405 and then once it's at 405 then I can go back to trying to stuff $1,200 for my rent. So anyways, that is it actually for my next um, binder, which is awesome. I'm going to put this away and I'm going to bring this one back because honestly, I'm just so happy with how both of these turned out, you guys. Like I've said this before because I think this is the third time you guys are seeing these, but I just love having all of my sinking funds together in one like this. Anyways, that is it for today. Thank you again, you guys, so much for tuning in. My next video is going to be up on Friday. And as I mentioned, when I filmed my week one spending check-in for March, I'm not actually doing my week two spending check-in on Friday. What you're actually going to see is my video where I set up my March paycheck budget. So I'm going to get my first paycheck from my new job on March the 25th and I have to plan that out because that paycheck has to cover my entire rent along with like a bunch of other expenses as well. So I just need to plan that out to just make sure everything is fine and just like be aware of what's in my checking account. Again, I'm filming this video on Saturday so I actually did get a final paycheck from my other job on the 11th but again it wasn't a full paycheck it was just like one day of pay and then some vacation payout as well so I did get a little bit extra money so like my checking account isn't going like as close to zero as I thought because like when I had initially set up my March budget it was looking like I was going to get to like $18 in my checking account which was kind of stressful but um, that was fine because again I knew that if I needed to I could take this money and put it back into my bank I just didn't want to to because I knew that if it was there I'd be more tempted to spend it having it in cash is just like honestly it's just very it's just it's nice to have this as a fallback because like there's probably over a thousand dollars in this now I, I don't know if that's not true I haven't done the total but it's just nice to have a little bit of a fallback in terms of these but I really do want to keep them for what they're intended for so anyways that is it for today thank you again you guys so much for tuning in again my name is Amelia and this is Amelia Budgets I hope you all have an amazing week and I will talk to you again on Friday goodbye everyone